in our ADHD clinic, uh, we do new evaluations for um, our patients for diagnosis of ADHD and for as well as ongoing care for ADHD as well. Um, what uh, we had done uh, a couple of years ago was establish a process in the clinic and did a quality project to improve the baseline assessment for ADHD. And uh, we have been getting now baseline rating scales for all our patients uh, before we see them for the appointment. Um, we used to get it um, up to only 20 to 25% initially to start with. And with the quality project, the improvement was up to 70%. And today we are getting 90% of our rating scales before we see our patients. Getting the rating scales uh, from both parents and teachers um, help us um, uh, diagnose more objectively from both parent and teacher point of view, along with the clinical interview that we do for ADHD. And um, not, now that we know that we can obtain these uh, rating scales and we have the baseline assessment improved and standardized, we would like to continue to follow up with the same process with the treatment of ADHD as well. In our ADHD clinic, we have now um, established procedures um, for standardizing the care for initial or baseline assessment, as well as for follow-up for ADHD treatment. Um, the rating skills that we do for baseline assessment um, have been helpful in, treat in starting with the medications right away at the time of diagnosis. And the follow-up care um, has been very uh, expedited by using these rating skills as well as uh, titration of the medications has been really much more effective uh, with using follow-up ADHD rating skills. I would always compare this um, to the treatment of diabetes where we always need a hemoglobin A1C or blood sugar glucose before we uh, see a, a physician for diabetes care. For I would recommend the same for ADHD care as to do baseline as well as follow-up ADHD rating scales. We did a study uh, in our clinic um, in 2011 where we took about 75 patients and um, evaluated who was diagnosed with oppositional defined disorder by using Vanderbilt rating scales, uh, which is the ADHD rating scales, versus the psychiatrist uh, diagnosing o um, the ODD. And what we saw was that the rating scales really pick up that diagnosis much more than a psychiatrist would diagnose just by a clinical interview. So that same rating scale which we are using for ADHD follow-up for medications is also very helpful for diagnosing OD, uh, oppositional defined disorder. We also found out from that uh, study that once they were diagnosed with ODD, psychiatrists would um, recommend behavior therapy along with medication treatment in all those patients as well.